Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a poster using a PowerPoint template and how to line up objects and how to make it look really professional. This is an example for a Twitter poster, but a lot of the ideas are transferable to making a normal poster. A couple things when you get this template. I'm going to use this first example, so I'm just going to delete the second one. You can see it's kind of small to see right now, so you're going to want to become familiar with these zoom in and zoom out bars on the bottom. Then in this case, you'll see up here is the title. So I want to change my title. So I'm just going to say synthesis of mesotyl midazole, for example. Here you can see I have a lot of authors listed. This is currently not what you're going to be doing. So traditionally, the author that's presenting is underlined and then the advisor is at the end. And in the middle are other people who contributed. So you can just delete whoever you don't need. Then the other thing is you see there are subscripts or superscripts next to certain names. So these then refer to the affiliation. So in this case, A is Cal Poly Pomona and B is Georgetown University. So if both are from Cal Poly Pomona, you can just remove the second affiliation, delete it from the next line, and then remove that last superscript. The other thing up here in the title area, I usually like to include logos of funding agencies. So in this case, Cal Poly Pomona. So if you're a student here, then just include that all the time. If you're not funded from the Department of Defense, get rid of that one. If you're not funded from NSF, get rid of that one. And if it's for something else that you have funding for, for example, LSAMP, you could look for their logo and include that up there. Here in the background, in posters, it's generally really effective to have quick bullet points as opposed to a lot of text. So you want to keep it really short and simple. Um, here you can see I only put four bullet points. If some of it is coming from another paper, then here's the paper I used. You can see this is an American Chemical Society format, which is the standard referencing format. If you have a paper with a lot of authors, maybe just include some of them, and you can see I included at all to account for all the other authors. Here again, I have my goals. With these templates, it's really important to not move things too much, so you don't want to move the text box so that it all stays nicely lined up. Okay, moving on to the second section. Here I put three headers. Um, if you don't have three headers, maybe you just get rid of one. And let's say I want to add an image. You can just click and drag it in. And here it's really important that you scale the image. So you want to use this corner pull because then it'll scale the vertical and horizontal equally. If I do this on the side, it'll distort my image and make it stretched. And this is really unprofessional and doesn't look good. If when you click on the corner, it doesn't pull properly, you can always hold down shift and usually that'll fix it up. Here it's important to look that the image has good quality, um, that it's clear and visible. Um, let's say I wanted to add another text box. I always recommend taking what's already there and just copying it and pasting. So I did Control C, Control V, which is the short key. So let's say I just want to make a new header. I'm just going to delete these bullet points and I'm going to call this one mesotelomidazole. And so in this case I can shrink it. I recommend making it centered and then I can put this underneath. Let's say I want to make this the same blue color as my other headers. I can change my text color and go to recent colors or more colors and use the eyedropper. And then I can actually select that blue I had been using before, if you weren't sure about it. Okay. I encourage you to pick a couple colors. You're welcome to change the colors on this or make your own poster. Um, but definitely keep things consistent. I'm going to do another copy-paste. So let's say I wanted to put some bullet points underneath. You can see that PowerPoint lines up with this red dotted line. So it's really important that you line up to the right thing. So you can see here it'll line up spacing vertically and here you want to make it line up on the left. If it's not lining up properly, one option 
is that you actually just overlay it and use the left and right arrows until it overlays perfectly and then just press arrow down to move it down and then that will make sure that it's fully lined up. In the conclusions, again, I think a couple bullet points are best. You can add a picture, you can add a scheme. And then for Twitter in particular, I encourage you to add a photo of yourself, your Twitter handle, and then your email address for people to contact you. In this poster, I now put funding at the bottom. So any funding that was involved in your research should be included here. And this is something that's really, really important. Here's a logo I used for Exceed. If you didn't use Exceed, don't include this logo, so then you can remove it. So that's all for today. Thanks for listening.